for many visitors to Hungary, their first introduction to the country will be the capital, Budapest. They will see a busy, spacious city, livelier than they may have expected, and blending a rich mix. panoramic view over the city may well take their breath away. For Budapest is very lovely, perhaps the most beautiful of all the towns that grace the banks of the Danube. Buda, with its palaces and medieval fortifications, is built on the hills to the north of the river. To the south is Pest, the commercial quarter. The two separate halves of the city were united just 100 years ago. The great church of St. Matyash is the center of Old Buddha. This is the historic quarter, the greater part of which was destroyed in the Second World War. But the old houses, many of them now restaurants and inns, have been carefully restored in their original form. The damage of the last war has been repaired, but there is plenty of evidence of past invaders. The foundation of this Roman fortress, for instance, or the numerous Turkish baths, relics of the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> Budapest is sometimes called the Paris of the East, and there is plenty of cafe life, a cosmopolitan air to the busy streets. Even a full-size parking problem. Modern department stores rise beside the old markets. In spite of its sophistication, Budapest is quite a country town. There is never a feeling of being trapped in a jungle of bricks and mortar. shopping streets are brilliant and gay. Behind the bright lights, it may be that the luxuries are spread a little thinly. But Hungarians are not the sort of people to play the poor relation. Even if there is some improvisation behind the scenes, Budapest at night presents a glittering face to the world. Yeah. 